Love stinks. That's right. You may know of a song by a name, but did you know there was a movie by that title? Get ready when I talk about probably a very rare comedy that, well, some of you may never heard of. Love stinks. Big days, entertainment rankings and reviews. So greetings, my fellow YouTubers, and welcome to Big D's Entertainment Rankings and Reviews. My name is Duel, better known to you as the Big D, and this time around I bring to you a review of the 1999 screwball dark comedy Love Stinks, released by independent artists, starring French Stewart, along with Bridget Wilson, Bill Bellamy, and Tyra Banks, plus Jason Bateman, Tiffany Thiessen, and a host of others. The film was direct, written and directed by Jeff Franklin. That's right, you heard me correctly. The guy who brought us Full House and hanging with Mr. Cooper. Yeah. Anyway, Love Stinks is a guilty, was a guilty pleasure of mine, so I'm really not going to try to give the whole story away if you've not seen this movie, because a lot of you may never have heard this, of this movie. This film may have been a dud at the box office. Anyway, like I said, the film was released by Independent Aris, which that was the same studio that brought us the extremely horrible Dennis Rodman movie, Simon Says, which came out the same year, as a matter of fact. Anyway, um, French Stewart, you know him best from Third Rock from the Sun. Well, a sitcom writer and producer is preparing for... The wedding, but his best friend Larry, played by Bill Bellamy, is telling him to get out of it. So we go to a flashback to how it all began. When he meets an interior decorator named Chelsea. Well, he's immediately sexually attracted to her while she's instantly attracted to his singleness. And they both ditch their wedding dates and they start their own date that same night. After Larry's wedding... Uh, to his girlfriend, Holly, played by Tyra Banks. That's one of the things I liked about this movie, because it had Tyra Banks in it, because I love Tyra Banks. She's one of my favorite models, in case you didn't know. <laughs> yeah, soon Chelsea tells Seth she has only one rule, won't have SCX with a guy until they have had at least three meals together, and so they did. Well, it begins... And they seem fairly happy, but... However, unfortunately, it turns out Chelsea is more of a manipulative siren who is about to sink her claws into him. Oh, yeah. When she tells him she loves him after just a month together, well, four weeks, when he Seth doesn't immediately... Reciprocate, Chelsea nearly storms out of for impact. So it happens, but things take a turn for the worse, and it's back on, it's off again. You know, it's an on again, off again bit, but because, well, <laughs> but apparently. Seth increasingly realizes that Chelsea is quick to anger and an expert manipulator, which I've already said, a manipulative siren. Oh, Seth does all sorts of things and even, even trying to impress Chelsea with diamond earrings and want to be on Valentine's Day. Oh, boy. And well, apparently, um, and Seth even tries to throw, well, um, Chelsea's cat Gracie into the ocean, which is absolutely crazy. Uh, but, or even passing gas excessively in the bed, and why have you, but, but apparently Chelsea evens the score up by... Filling up Seth's house with rescue cats, considering he's allergic, and even puts hair removal cream in his shampoo. So it still continues to take a turn, but they soon 
make amends and go to Vegas. But after that, I'm not going to tell you the rest of the story. You just, you're just you just going to have to watch the movie. That is if you've got the guts and glorious see it. So that's it. That's all I'm telling you. I'm not going to give this whole movie away because that would be giving away a very rare movie. Okay? In the story. For, that, for this anyway. <laughs> but anyway... Let me see. Yeah, it has some others. Well, well, big names in this. I mean, there was um, let's see, Colleen Camp from Smokey and the Bandit Part Three, and I, I also saw her in the house with a clock in its walls, and well, other few, and plus a few other things. Um, it was also Luis Avalos, best known for his work on the original Electric Company back in the seventies, and. And, you know, there was, like, three playmates. That's right, you heard me correctly. There was, um, Julia Schultz, Miss February, 1998. That's all I can remember. I can't remember the rest, but I do know the, the years, though. There was, um, Shea Marks, from, well, a playmate from, uh, 94, I think? Or was it 93? Oh, crap, I'm sorry, I can't. I can't seem to remember. And Shannon Mokler, Miss December of 2001. That I remember because, well, of course, Mokler was more recently a star on in the last season or two of USA's Pacific Blue. But there's lots of other um, names and what have you, but let me tell you. Well, I think this guy has its moments. This is an Okay, well, kind of an okay yet. Okay, kind of in between okay, okay, and okay, good. It's not really the best movie, so you be the judge in my recommendation of watch it. So that's why I'm saying you be the judge if you got what it takes. Now, the full movie is on Amazon Prime, which I just recently watched. And I watched it numerous times on the HBO channels, so. Or if you're just into these here familiar names, French Stewart, Bridget Wilson, Tyra Banks, Bill Bellamy, go for it. But this one, I don't factually would recommend, but like I said, you be the judge. So Love Stinks, it just has its ups and downs, you know. <laughs> so give it one try. And if you're not satisfied, I can't say I didn't try. But anyway, if you've seen Love Stinks, please tell me in the comment section below. If you like the video, click the like button below, subscribe to my channel as well, and be a part of the Big D Nation. Alright, now, though my next review is was going to be Splash, but there may be a last-minute change of plan, so expect a special announcement later on tonight on my channel. I may be sneaking something I had on my original draft of February schedule back on board. Just stay tuned and find out, as long as my announcement doesn't shock you or anything. <laughs> but anyway, thanks for watching, and if you like this, check out these other uh, two, well, two review, well, two vids. Well, I'm just doing two, so if you'd like, check out my review of The Wedding Planner with J-Lo, which Bridget Wilson was actually in. Or go to the upper right-hand corner for my recent pickups and my February schedule as is. But I will have a last-minute change of plans add into the schedule to fill in some days that I've decided to take off, okay? In the bottom right-hand corner is the button you can click to subscribe. If you like rankings and reviews on movies, TV, music, video games, etc., then I'm your guy. Thanks for watching. Until next time, I'm the Big D saying, see ya!